Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. First off, uh, I want to wish safety to those of you in Central Florida. Um, I know Milton is making its way over there historically. Um, you know, hitting Tampa Bay, I think since 1921, hasn't had a hurricane. Um, so I'm hoping you guys are well um, and safe. And I hope, honestly, the damage is minimal from uh, Milton. Um, but I uh, just want to go ahead and talk about the WRX. So I did originally install the parent engine mounts, and unfortunately, the aluminum body um, had some problems when I was torquing it down. The aluminum threads were stripped by the stainless steel bolts as I was tightening it down to 45 foot-pounds. Um, you know, I, it, I didn't understand really the concept of how it happened, but evidently, you know, stainless steel is a lot harder than aluminum. So uh, if, one, if something is going to give, it's going to be the aluminum first. Um, rather than the stainless steel bolts. But I did call Perrin. Um, they responded immediately. They obviously, I think, had had this issue before because they gave me a solution. Uh, they were going to ship me, I think, a rivet, a screw, a screw rivet, um, blind rivet tool with rivets to uh, put in the new steel bolts. Um, but I opted against that. Uh, I actually am going to do something else. I'm going to do a helicoil. Um, I think it's a lot stronger solution and it'll hold it in. Uh, but uh, besides that, I actually switched over to VSC. Um, I was reading on their website. They had talked about a stainless steel liner. Um, I actually emailed them and tried to call them to ask them about it, but evidently they, uh, they never got back to me. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's because of poor customer service or uh, if it's just they just want to keep their design proprietary um, so other people don't copy. Um, but I do believe that there is a stainless steel threading uh, rather than aluminum. Um, at least that's what I hope. <laughs> um, I already had them installed. They, I was able to torque them down. Um, I did torque them down to 40 foot-pounds instead of 45. Uh, I believe that it will be fine. shouldn't be an issue. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to fix the parent engine mounts, and I'll show you guys what happened because uh, I have them out. But uh, as of right now... Um, this is what my engine bay looks like. I had this. This is an engine support bar. Definitely very useful. Uh, it, it was basically a second secondary uh, support system um, other than the jack that was keeping the engine up. Um, and also what was even better was I could slowly lower the engine down using this engine support bar. Um, there's, there's actually a little twirling thing right here that lowers a uh, threaded rod up and down, which was chained to the uh, actual... I think this is an engine hoist uh, hook point for the WRX engine. Um, so I was able to lower it down really slow. Uh, something about the VSC engine mounts where they actually had the threaded rod already installed into the body of the engine mounts. That's why I believe there were stainless steel liner, I guess, threading um, so that the bolts would stay in there. Now they did say that the design was pretty much the same as what they have in their race uh, inspired, I mean, they're, they're race focused cars. Um, so I believe they should be just fine. Um, obviously, they tested them for many years before releasing them. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, this, you know, this won't be any, I hope there won't be any issues um, with the threading f uh, coming out of the uh, engine uh, mounts. I <sighs> better not. Now, Perrin's version one design it did have a, I guess, a flaw with melting polyurethane. But I do remember the body of the mount of the engine mounts. I actually sold them. Um, the body of the engine mounts, I believe, were stainless steel, and it was a really tough steel, so there was absolutely no worries uh, with the threading being stripped um, in those bodies. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, I did. Sh I will show you guys the VSC engine mounts. They're already installed. Um, I did a previous video. Uh, prior to making this one, so that'll just follow that up, and I'll talk about the engine mounts. The, I actually just ended up buying the entire uh, VSC trifecta, so the pitch stop mount, the transmission mount, and the engine mounts, just to kind of, um, you know, uh, complete the system, uh, let it work as it was initially designed. Um, there are some subtle differences between the two. Uh, the pitch stop mounts definitely are a lot different. Um, engine mounts are actually pretty similar. I think Perrin actually may have... Uh, change their design due to VSC performance releasing theirs, uh, their their engine mounts. I'm going to put everything back together. Um, something I'm going to try to do today, and I'll, I'll, I'll film if I do it later on, is install the VSC pitch stop. Uh, and then 
I think from there I will be doing the transmission mount, the VSC transmission mount, and uh, get this car back together and get on the road. I mean, geez, my uh, inspection's due in November, so hopefully, I mean, I'll definitely get it done this month. It's just been a lot longer than I thought. Um, it, it was a tough process. I mean, to be honest, getting those engine mounts out, it is not, it's, it's really time consuming, um, especially if you've never done it before. You want to be really careful, uh, you know, not to do anything crazy because you are basically lifting the engine up um, and, and lowering it back down. But anyways, I thought I'd just uh, talk to you guys, make a quick video. Uh, still driving the RCF Track Edition around. Love the car. Getting used to it now. Um, it's not as crazy to drive. Uh, it's still a little squirrely. <laughs> Um, definitely, it's a lot different than an all-wheel drive car. I mean, compared to the WRX, the control of this car is stupendous um, compared to my other cars. Uh, the GRC, I have not have had a chance to take it out. Hopefully, I'll take it out this weekend um, with the new Tanabe brace that I installed. So I, I mean, the, definitely this car is is going to have a lot of is going to have great control compared. I mean, you know, it's similar. To, I hope to the WRX since they're both all-wheel drive. Um, and the Lexus, uh, pretty soon I think I'm going to be driving this car again. Um, it needs to be driven and not just sitting here. Okay, guys, well, here are the parent engine mounts. I had these originally installed uh, before I decided to change them out. Um, I changed them to the VSC uh, motor mounts, and I will show you guys those later. Um, they're actually already installed. I'm just shooting everything out of order because I wanted to take these out and put the VSC engine mounts in. Uh, VSC ones are actually a little bit lighter, um, but the balance is a little bit different. For some reason, the VSCs, this portion is a lot lighter and this part's a little bit heavier. And this part and the parent mounts, definitely this part is very heavy. Um, if you notice, I don't know if I guys showed you, but the VSCs, they have little, uh, little cutouts in these areas to uh, save on weight. But I wanted to get back to the issue that I had. Um, I don't know if you can tell um, on this one, it's actually it's this one right here. You can see right there, the threading has disappeared. Um, it actually sheared off when I was installing the bolts. Uh, these studs were originally installed in this hole, and as I was tightening the uh, OEM fastener on this to 45 foot pounds, it basically just sheared out the uh, threading of the of the uh, the mount. Um, this one it held. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it actually is already, some of the threading actually sheared out already. Um, so these, on my guess, were already prone to failure. Um, so I went ahead and just took them out and I put the VSC ones in. The VSC ones, my guess is they had put stainless steel liner in here um, in order to keep the, uh, the mounts secured. Um, they did state on their website description for the, their mounts that they had a stainless steel liner. I did call VSC, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a call back. So I have no idea if the mounts were designed like that. They did say steel, stainless steel liner. Um, I did check with a magnet on the mounts uh, to see where the stainless steel was. I couldn't find anywhere other than the actual bolts were made of steel, stainless steel. Uh, so my guess is that stainless steel liner was put there uh, in those uh, in those threaded sections. Um, so that's actually what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to drill these holes out and I'm going to put uh, threaded inserts in there, uh, helicoils. Um, and uh, I don't know, the, the thing also I wanted to point out is the actual threaded bolt, it actually didn't even go all the way to the very top. It only go, went partially in, so it wasn't even uh, utilizing the full thread engagement of the mount so that I think that kind of proves a weakness too um, and you know I guess it's kind of sad I wish Perrin had addressed that issue uh, but something I did want to mention was I did email Perrin on a Sunday uh, night and I got a reply back pretty much Monday morning 8 a.m. from them really quick um, I think maybe they've already encountered this a few times but they offered to mail me um, threaded inserts to put in here uh, of course, uh, you know, but I already basically know what to do. I have my own helicoils. I already have those from a previous repair I did on my transmission. Um, so I went ahead and I'm going to take care of that. So I'm going to drill these holes out. I'm going to put a helicoil in. Um, I probably won't use these threaded bolts. I'm probably going to use something that can use the full engagement, um, something that will go all the way, at least, um, you know, at least a little bit, uh, at least a little bit higher, more um, engagement inside here. 
Um, so that way it would be a lot stronger, more engagement, so that it wouldn't shear off again. I mean, it's kind of sad that it sheared off. So what I will be doing is replacing the engine mounts and all the mounts actually by pairing with VSC, uh, just in case you guys weren't familiar, it's a Vermont sports car. Their designs are a little bit different. The transmission mounts a little bit different and the pitch stop mount is extremely different. I mean, it is very noticeably different, much lighter. Um, and I will show you guys when I take these two pieces out, I will compare them. The engine mounts, I probably won't be able to. Uh, this is actually being filmed prior to taking out the parent engine mounts and putting these in. Um, so it may be a little out of order. Um, some of the stuff may not make chronological sense what I'm saying. But as you can tell, the parent, I'm sorry, the VSC engine mounts, they do have the studs already kind of in there. Um, I actually can't, doesn't seem like they are removable like the parent ones. Um, but I believe there's a stainless steel liner inside here um, that's mounted inside the aluminum to keep this, I guess, uh, what is it called, a bolt, a threaded bolt um, in there and keeps it from just kind of shearing out the aluminum like they did in the parent mounts. Um, so we'll see about that. But anyways, I will get these in. I'm hoping that they will uh, not have, I will not have the same issues with parent. Now, something that is going to be difficult, of course, is installing them with the studs. Um, that's the one thing I liked about the parent mounts, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I will uh, compare these two when I take out the parent mounts, and then I will have these installed. And uh, see you guys in a bit. Um, I did remove the parent pitch stop mount I originally had installed. I did damage it a little bit, as you can see right there. There's some scratching um, where I try to pry this out. This thing was really in there. It, it honestly isn't that hard to get out if you just pry it out, but unfortunately there was no room to pry it, so I had to basically really squeeze it out. Um, but here is the VSC version. Um, I just put blue tape on here, so I make sure to put this on top uh, when I'm mounting it. But as you can tell, they do a lot of cavitation. Um, there's a lot of thoughtful design, I believe, in this piece. It's, it's quite a bit, um, no, it's not that much lighter, actually, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm sure they shaved off some grams compared to this one. Uh, this is definitely a very robust piece by Perrin, um, but I wanted to go ahead and use the VSC. Something I noticed was there's no bushing here. This is just straight aluminum, um, as, whereas the Perrin has a, um, you know, another uh, polyurethane insert. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the, I probably just keep these, the parent uh, pitch stop mount, and I have the transmission mount. The parent transmission mount is still installed in there. Um, I actually got the whole VSC uh, version just to stick with the same thing. Um, I'll probably keep these just in case I need them in the future. Uh, I, I do want to repair these and I'll show you guys when I finish repairing. And uh, a later time I will show you the VSC mounts um, if I can get under the car. Um, I did do a video um, taking a look at them before I installed and I'll, you know, it'll be following this portion. Um, but yeah, definitely want to install everything and just get it done. Uh, it's been a while. Um, so I'm, I'm, get, I'm really excited to uh, kind of get the progress started for my WRX um, and just be able to drive it. I really miss the car. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll get back to you guys later when I do the transmission mount and the pitch stop mount. And after that, I got to piece the whole car together again. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, I think I'm going to change the oil too. And then I'm just going to take it for a drive and enjoy the car for a little bit. All right, guys. Well, the pitch stop is in. I haven't fully tightened it yet. Uh, I do want to replace the transmission mount first with the VSC version uh, before I fully tighten this down. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but I'll go ahead and just do it just to, you know, since I will be lock uh these uh, fasteners in just because I can't see them uh, with the intercooler in. Uh, now, I um, do have to say this pitch stop was a lot easier to put in than the parent one. For some reason, the parent one, it was like such a tight fit. Um, I had to hammer it in to those brackets, whereas this one, I just put a little bit of grease like I did on the parent one and just slid right in. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but it certainly isn't moving around at all. Um, oh, that, that's just the fastener moving. But yeah, it is not moving around at all in there, so I'm fairly confident that it isn't any issue. Um, something else I had to, even though I removed, I did have to remove this bracket a little bit of lo to loosen it up, but even that didn't make a difference to pull out the parent pitch stop mount. So I don't know um, really what to say about that, but the VSC, I don't know. It, it looks really small, um, a little dinky, but I mean, it, I, I trust Vermont Sports Car. 
with their products. I mean, it just, I think it's definitely very cool that they were able to um, shave off all of that aluminum um, and, uh, you know, keep it the way it is. And I mean, it's done years of testing, so I do trust um, Vermont Sports Car. I don't think they're going to make stuff up considering the Subaru trusts them. So I'm going to trust them too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, definitely we'll try to do the transmission mount uh, next and then um, I'll do a review at the same time when I'm down there uh, to show you guys the uh, VSC mounts installed and everything and um, just real happy uh, to be at this point now. Um, I did want to actually have those VSC, I knew about the VSC uh, mounts um, prior to doing this job uh, but uh, I had already purchased the Parent Big 3 um, so be it as it may you know what had happened um, you know, I was able to, uh, I guess, uh, get kind of what I had wanted, uh, to begin with. Um, I did get a good deal on it, so I wasn't too upset about that. But, uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. And, uh, of course, I want to wish you all out there, my viewers, health, wealth, and safety. Um, so, have a good day. Bye-bye.